because we don't want to feel like we are lesser than them. It doesn't matter what you stand for. The only measurement that you are standing for consciousness is your conduct towards yourself and another human being. And when that gets wrapped up in a group agenda and a mob mentality, that's when we stop being individuals and we start becoming something called people. When the majority has a voice and the majority has values that aren't exactly aligned correctly or at least in a balanced manner, if they're making all the decisions, then we'll have a culture that is inherently sick and can negatively impact everyone around you and yourself. I do. There will always, for time, on your world and the way you experience it, there will always, for a time, be those who will not like what you have to say, who will not allow you to be you. You know why? Because when you are being you as fully as you can, they come after you. They do. Expose! You are a constant reminder to those who are not being themselves that they are not being themselves, and they don't like being reminded of that. You understand? I do, yes. But that is the greatest service you can actually provide them, because at least by example, you're giving them an opportunity to see through you that they could choose to be more fully themselves, even if they don't choose to. What's by that? not being yourself, you are removing that opportunity from them. You are only reinforcing their choice to be afraid to be themselves. As you let other people and their response to you be so important to you, you draw in and in and in and in. You become a mere shadow of who you are. You don't let yourself be the frisky beings that you are, you see. So... I can do what brings me joy and I can feel free to do that because I know I'm not harming anyone. I know I'm coming from a place of love and compassion and I feel like anybody who's wanting to send good energy out to the world, go for it. Whatever it is you want to do, go for it. It is possible. Get into that good feeling mood. You say, I'm going to take responsibility for my own happiness. I'm going to be happy regardless of what she does, he does, whatever these people do, I'm going to feel good anyway. And I'm just going to add in here real quick, if you're in a state of something and your reality is harming you, please seek help immediately because that's a whole nother avenue. Seek help, get away quietly and quickly as you can, but I'm talking about a situation where you have some sort of dream that you have been aching to take action on but you feel like you're not capable or you're not good enough i'm making this video to tell you that you are good enough that that dream within you that's aching to be released get into a good feeling state and believe it's possible and then take action on it Please, because I want to see your dreams come true. Wouldn't this world be so amazing if every human really could see their own dreams come true? You can achieve it through feeling good about it and taking action from that place. You are good enough. You really are. You are good enough. I wish that I could take what I feel within me when I say that and just like really give it to you because I really want you to know it. You're good enough. Every single one of you is a gift. Do not deprive others of the gift of your being. Yes? Yes. Sound like fun? Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you something. That fear of being judged is valid because you're going to be judged because you're surrounded by judges. So it's a valid fear because you're going to be judged. You can't walk through a room that people don't observe you and from their perspective form an opinion and a conclusion relative to you. You are the wrong color for some, you're the wrong religion for some, you wear the wrong clothes for some, you have the wrong color of hair for some. In other words, you're going to be judged and on and on and on and on it goes. The only way that you could ever really get rid of that experience of being judged, in other words, that action journey of being judged, is if you went and lived in a cave where no one would ever see you.
and then you'd worry about the cockroach, or then you'd worry about... <laughs> then you see the little squirrel, and you say, what are you thinking about? <laughs> so, you're going to be judged. It's a fact of living in an environment where other eyes will see you. That is your action journey. But you can be judged and care deeply about it, and you can be judged and not give a rip about it. 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 And the difference between that is the difference between living happily ever after and being tortured because you can never be the right thing for even most of them. Get into a good feeling place. Clarity will come. The inspiration will come to make certain decisions. You'll be at this place at the right time to have this conversation and these opportunities will unfold for you. Just test it out. Get into a good feeling state. I started making that criteria. Like, I'm not going to make moves in life unless I'm feeling good. I realized that if I changed my perspective... I could feel better and that's what I started doing looking for things that I could enjoy in each day and just really feeling good unconditionally feeling good because I choose to not because the things going on around me were you know oh so perfect for me not at all I chose to feel good anyway regardless of the condition and over time, it became easier and easier. The momentum built up, and it was just easier to feel good and find relief. And once I started feeling better and I started getting clarity, I was moving into different vibrational doorways, so to speak. I decided to make different decisions from this newfound place of clarity and feeling better, regardless of what was happening. And when I did that, I'm telling you, these different opportunities, these synchronicities that appeared in my life led me to a completely different reality. Everyone's looking through their eyes from their perspective and they are thinking what they're thinking and they are going to evaluate everything they see. They evaluate the sky, they evaluate the roads, they evaluate everything. It's part of the deciphering process. It's part of the preferring process. It's part of the concluding molding of the clay process. They're not wrong in doing that. It's natural. Everyone. You are a beautiful expression of existence. And you are a very important part of the recipe that makes up all of existence. I hope that you can feel free to express and share your knowledge and insights and love openly in a way that feels best to you because no other expression can add to the recipe the distinct flavor that you specifically can. We all add our own flavors, so to speak, to this big soup that is reality that is existence and I want to send out love to all of existence to all of you and let you know that your unique self the expression that you are is important and is loved and is supported always and I hope that you can be free to express how you really want to because as I said, you are an important part of reality and existence. And you are worthy of existence. And that can be shown by the fact that you exist. I hope you can be however you feel best being. Because I know through joy and unconditional love and happiness. And feeling good of being who you are. And loving yourself. Each and every person will gain freedom that they are looking for. And one of the greatest gifts that anyone can reflect to you is to empower you to know that your happiness does not have to be dependent upon any condition around you or any person. No matter where you're standing, and I've been standing in some deep, deep shit, so to speak. So I understand how dark and hard those times can get. 
But I can stand here now and tell you, coming through that, looking at the whole big picture of it all, the greatest gift is knowing that no matter where you stand, that you are the creator of your own happiness. I am wishing you the best beautiful days. I will definitely be in the comments reading and responding. I'm sending you love and good vibes always.